one more point I have missed to tell is the distance between the earth electrodes, these vertical driven electrodes, what we call an earth pit. The, this earth pit is 3 meters, that is the length of the vertical rod is 3 meters. So the distance between one electrode to other electrode has to be minimum 3 meters is or 6 meters. It has to be minimum one length of the electrode or twice the length of the electrode. Otherwise, using two electrodes will not reduce the resistance of the earthing system. And then one more point is there is some clearance we have to maintain between this earthing conductor and the wall. This is because at this place there is a 100% earth potential rise. So as we move away the potential rise, earth potential rise reduces. That is one thing and second thing also from excavation point of view and maintenance point of view there need to be clearance. Maybe one meter distance is good. And then the depth of this earth conductor has to be 0.5 meter or 500 to 600 mm. So these, and then one more thing is now the inside this transformer we are we are using plate electrodes and all these are either pipe or rod electrodes surrounding outside.